Hey there folks, it's Richard of DoomedMovieThon.com and it has been an embarrassing amount of time since I have made an episode of My Horror Shelfie. My Horror Shelfie is a video series where I go through every single movie on my shelves in alphabetical order, or what I determine is alphabetical order, and I talk about each movie briefly until we get to Z, which is right around the corner because we're stuck in the letter C, since C rhymes with Z, that means I'm almost done. Now, I got distracted by the podcast and writing and making music with my band. And next thing you know, it was a year later and I hadn't done episode 11, so sorry about that. And thank you to my pal Amy Green, who was like, I'm ready for new episodes, brother! And I said, Let's continue with the C's. Luckily, there's only five movies in horror that start with the letter C in total in the world. Let's go. Castle of Blood or Castle of Blonde Women. Uh, this is, I believe, an Antonio Margarete, and I did that kind of half-assed, didn't I? Antonio Margarete, Barbara Steele, gothic, black and white, amazing. This, unfortunately, is one of my least favorite of those. Um, I am a long hair of death guy myself, but Castle of Blood is pretty great. I don't know why this one doesn't grab me like the others do. Um, I have the... <laughs> really really old Synapse uh, DVD here that has my receipt from Sound Exchange just in case the disc doesn't play and it's from uh, January 31st 2013 so that's when I picked this up the the cover is cut real weird so the the cover doesn't fit inside the the plastic thing I don't know what that's all about maybe I should return it Be like excuse me Cat people or ca people. Uh, this is basic horror uh, foundation. You need black and white horror in your life. Come here, get the cat people. It's phenomenal. You, you can't go wrong with it. It gets better every viewing. Good old uh, Jacques Turner, Jacques Turner, Jacques Turner, and Val Luton. Very amazing. Um, yeah, it's a good one. Get it. Cemetery man. This is uh, Michele Suave doing one of the greatest Italian horror films of all time. Some people have said that this is the last great Italian horror film. Um, I hope that's not true because this was re released in like 1996. That was a long time ago. Uh, but you got Rupert Everett, very proud of this film. He often talks about it in interviews even to this day. He's not ashamed of it. He went to Italy. Didn't have to pay the taxes. I know British people hate paying taxes because I watch a lot of British mystery shows. And man, they go overseas and work just like Americans do. Awesome, awesome movie. Uh, caught this on cable many years ago. Just saw it coming up on the schedule. Set it to record, having no idea what in the world it was. Much to my delight, it was this perfect little weird film. So, yeah. Michele Suave, come back to horror. Come back to horror. I, I love that you're doing other stuff, but come back to horror. Can't have a cemetery, man, without a cemetery of terror. Uh, we got two films from this now painfully out of print, although I've heard rumors of a Blu-ray for one of these. Uh, this is Cemetery of Terror and Grave Robbers, uh, both Mexican horror films. We covered Cemetery of Terror a few years ago on the podcast. That's Hello, This is the Doomed Show, and we did that. Um, I recently finally watched Grave Robbers. I hadn't heard anything good about it, and it's okay. Grave Robbers is watchable. Uh, Cemetery of Terror, it's just so entertaining. Oh my god, you have to see Cemetery of Terror. And now, a Chinese movie uh, called The Changeling. It's about a little... no wait. Oh, I'm sorry. The Changeling. I still have the beautiful ancient HBO 
DVD with the paper and the plastic. Would you like paper or plastic? You get in both. Love the Changeling. Uh, just haunted me as a kid. Uh, a, t a teenager, really. <laughs> a very big kid. My buddy Scott introduced me to this movie. He warned me how scary it was and it scared the crap out of me and I just love it. <sighs> Can't go wrong. Cheerleader Camp. Yes. Yes, indeed. Um, I recently, and by recently I mean like three years ago, had some friends over for my birthday and I forced a bunch of people to all watch Cheerleader Camp together and we had a blast. Uh, this is magical slasher crapola. Just when you think slashers can't get any sillier, get any campier, ha, huh, campier, they can't get any more indulgent and stupid, then you're like, wait, what's cheerleader camp? And it's all those things. It's real dumb, heartwarming, especially when there's like a big butt out of a window. You watch and find out. Cherry Falls, the slasher movie where uh, the killer goes after the, the, the virgins and not the uh, people who have sex. Uh, it's very silly, uh, very fun, unfortunately still censored. Uh, I love this Shop Factory Blu-ray, but they could not find the elements. It's still censored. They cut a bunch of gore out of it, and I think those gore sequences are now lost to time. Very sad, but that shouldn't stop you from checking out Cherry Falls. Um, Brittany Murphy is in it, and she is incredible. I may have created a monster when I introduced my friends in the Propyl. Uh, to this film, and I'll have a link to their Brittany Murphy Tribute EP down at the bottom here. You gotta see it. See it? Well, you can see it, but you're gonna listen to it, because it's music. The Child. There's something hidden inside. Folks, I'm a complicated man, and no one understands me but my wowman. So The Child, on good old uh, Something Weird video, this is a secret Halloween movie, maybe not so secret, I don't know. Uh, about a little girl who has a special zombie friends. This is so much fun. It's sleepy. It's weird. It feels very claustrophobic. Um, it feels kind of like a like a demented TV show or play. Um, but the zombie action is pretty freaking cool. Uh, yeah, highly recommend this. I think it's 77. But what's hidden inside is a bunch of little discs. I got. <laughs> the premonition hidden in there. I got the stuff hidden in there. And uh, Malatesta's Carnival of Blood. This is what happens when you review movies. Things just show up and you hide them. I have a lot of movies hidden in this mess behind me here. Children should not play with dead things. Uh, this is from Shaky DVD Studios. Now, this is from uh, good old Bob Clark of Black Christmas and A Christmas Story fame. Also, the Porky's guy. I like this. I knew going into it how there was a lot of talking, and I knew it had some very special characters in it. I still liked it. It's very, very hippie. It's a hippie movie. Kind of scary, too, because, again, claustrophobic stuff makes up for having zero money. Christine is a film that I used to dislike because I read the, the Stephen King novel when I was a kid and it really irritated me when I rented Christine that they cut out some of the bloodier stuff, like there's a few uh, gory, like more gory bits and that really bothered me a lot that they like, kind of kind of reeled it in a little bit. So I was like, oh, Christine sucks, man. No. This movie's great! John Carpenter. Uh, wow. What, you know, the This is the special edition, so don't rob my house. Christmas Evil. This was a long journey to get to this Blu-ray. For some reason, I was holding on to my really, really ancient um, public domain copy of the movie, and it was fine. It just didn't look very good. And then one day, after many years of keeping it real, I finally got the Blu-ray for Christmas Evil. Um, I picked it up somewhere, maybe at Grindhouse Video. If you're in Tampa or on the internet, check out Grindhouse Video and shop with them. 
This never gets old. I could watch this every Christmas. In fact, I do. The church. Finally, the church. This is kind of one of my formative Italian horror films. I remember when this was brand new on the rental shelves of Blockbuster Video when I was, I guess about 14, 13 or 14, I forget, and just had to see it, didn't know what it was, didn't really know who Dario Argento was, uh, definitely didn't know who Michele Soave was, so there's two Soaves in a frickin' episode, and uh, yeah, this gets better every viewing. I never get tired of this movie. It's so weird and so energetic. It never stops being just insane. Whew, last movie. I wanted to do a big stack because of how long it's been since I've done this freaking show. So, City of the Dead, a Christopher Lee black and white gothic horror jam witchcraft and that oh the whole town's in on it oops is that a spoiler kind of a movie I cannot recommend this enough uh, it's on every single uh, compilation public domain movies I think it's under the horror hotel title but it's everywhere you can't miss it so give it a give it a shot um, I couldn't resist having the nice uh, restored VCI Blu-ray. VCI not always the sign of quality, gotta be careful with VCI, but this one is nice. So that's all the movies I picked for this episode. Hopefully you won't see me in like 13 months when I'm doing the next episode. I'm gonna do it like in 13, not months. I don't want to commit to any time. But before I go, I want to mention a little shout out to Monster! Exclamation point. So Monster! Exclamation point is a magazine that um, they foolishly let me uh, contribute to them. Uh, it is the brainchild of uh, Tim Paxton and uh, I believe Brian Harris and Tony Strauss are involved and they were so desperate they let me write for them which is... that's a mistake. I don't get anything from this other than getting my my words into print. Uh, they completely fund themselves to keep the magazine going. Um, I've written about um, Lady Frankenstein. I've written about... Uh, uh oh. <laughs> I don't remember what I wrote about. I think I wrote about um, Forever Evil. And in this one... No clue. No idea what I wrote. <laughs> In this one. But yeah, check out Monster. Uh, awesome. They cover all kinds of creature features. Uh, they cover lots of horror always. And it's a great resource for finding movies you've never heard of. And uh, yeah, on Amazon.com. Um, I guess look up Tim Paxton or look up me, look up Richard Glenn Schmidt, and you'll find some issues that I wrote for. Um, I also wrote for their other magazine called Wang's Chop. W-E-N-G apostrophe S chop. I'm in that one too, so yeah, buy this stuff. Folks, thank you for watching. Um, I really appreciate you hanging out here. I hope you're doing well in this insane, lovely time of our American country world. The world's crazy. <laughs> I don't know if you guys remember, last time I brought this little buddy out, she wasn't this big. She was much smaller, and now she's giant. So, don't feed your animals. Whatever you do, they'll kill you.